victims of the night The chemical, physical, kryptonite Help us to the base and the fade and today I'm gonna to be showing you some spring DIY room decor again. So today's video is gonna be a mix of some super bright colorful things for spring and then some storage ideas and just a bunch of stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm loving the DIYs and this might be one of my favorite DIY projects so far. One of. I hope you guys enjoy these DIY videos because I had so much fun making this so let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you did like it don't forget to click that thumbs up button because it means so much to me. I'm just gonna go straight on to the video so see you there. This first DIY is so simple yet so effective. It's basically these flash tattoo bowls and I got the two white square dishes from Wilkinson's and then the glass plate from a thrift store and you want to make sure they're either ceramic or glass because that works best. So I made sure they were clean and then I cut out the flash tattoos which were from Primark. I just applied it as I would to my skin so I cut it out, peeled off the back and then put it on the plate and then used the wet flannel and held the water down for about 30 seconds and then revealed the design by peeling it back off. So it all depends on what the instructions say on your flash tattoos, but this is what mine was and I think they're pretty universal. I think this looks really cool and really effective. <laughs> You want to make sure you hold them in place and I use some spray adhesive for this. I just put a really thin coat over the top of it or you could use Mod Podge with a sponge brush to apply it and this would also work really well. You've probably seen flower letters all over the internet and all over YouTube, but I wanted to do a kind of different spin on them and use crepe paper this time and these paper flowers I had lying around. So I got these cardboard letters from my local craft store, stabbed them with some scissors, be careful of that, and then ripped open the top portion of the cardboard. Luckily for me, this just peeled off really easily and I was able to get in and remove all of the cardboard and then just trim the excess with the scissors. Then I spray painted them with some spray paints that I picked up from my local hardware store for 99p and I just painted them front to back to make sure they were covered all over. And as you guys can tell I picked XO for hugs and kisses but you guys can make any quote or spell your name or do whatever you want with these. So I was just going to use crepe paper for this DIY but I found these paper flowers I had lying around and I really wanted to use them so they didn't go to waste and I'm basically just placing them where I want to put them and then using some glue once I like the layout. This was just an all purpose glue from Wilkinson's and then I scrunched up some crepe paper in different colours and added that too. I wanted to make sure it wasn't too loose but it wasn't too tight so I've got like a medium scrunch going on <laughs> and then I just filled it as tightly as I possibly could into the letter to make everything fit really nicely. really effective but pretty simple DIY is just this pom-pom lampshade and I got the pom-poms from my local fabric store and I think it was just like a pound for a meter. I used an all-purpose glue and stuck it onto this lampshade and I'm using bobby pins here to hold the pom-poms in place while the glue dries just for a couple of minutes because they get falling off which is really annoying and you just kind of repeat this whole process all over the lamp and that's all there is to it. Pretty simple but really effective. The last DIY 
giveaway is this poof slash storage box from a hat box and I've always wanted a poof so I had a lot of fun making this. I started by taking the top of the hat box and tracing it onto some faux sheepskin material that I got from the fabric store. It was really cheap. I cut it out and applied it to the top of the box using some spray adhesive. You could use like any kind of glue that adheres fabric. So an all-purpose glue might work as well or Mod Podge or even a glue gun. Glue gun works. And then I pushed it down and flattened out all the bubbles. Then I cut the rope off the side because that was mildly annoying. I used the Sharpie to mark out where I wanted to spray the edge. This edge at the top is where the lid finishes so you want to make sure you leave enough so that you can wrap as you can see the bottom part and it doesn't overlap. And I just sprayed it white to make the colour more consistent. And that's what it looks like and I keep all my bikinis in it because it's super handy and pretty cute storage. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on my DIY project and when I'm coming out with new videos and stuff. I hope you guys make some of these things and they make your room look really spring summery and, and if you do don't forget to show me on Instagram or Twitter where my handle slash username is just Hermione Boo, like it's spelt here. Well, that is everything I have time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.